borrowing on our uh, skill at setting up a reflux condenser as we have here, we're going to then take this same sort of uh, building block and then turn it into a distillation apparatus, okay? So uh, we're going to need a couple more items to do this. We're going to need a what we call a three-way connector, which you have in your equipment, and a distillation uh, takeoff. Okay, now this is a very expensive piece of equipment only because it's a tube within a tube, just like the condenser is here, you see. So we gotta be very careful when we handle this, and we also have to be very careful that when we connect this to the apparatus, that it doesn't just come off. So we're going to be using these, what we call keck clamps. Okay, you've got uh, four of them in your equipment. So we're gonna take this off like this, okay? And uh, we're going to be using this, you'll see, in a minute. And uh, let's put this up like this. Let us assume that this is the, uh, this is the thing that we're going to be distilling, this particular solvent. Okay. So that's up there nice and snug. And we're going to then use a three-way on there. Now, the, with a distillation like this, we always have to make sure that we know what the temperature is. So we're going to use a thermometer. This is a 150 degree thermometer. We know a 250 degree thermometer. And this is about as high as you're ever going to be able to uh, distill anything. And we have a, um, a, a neoprene adapter on a thermometer adapter. And we're going to put this in here. Now, we got to be careful when we push this in that we don't push it in at an angle because you might snap it off. Okay, so that's about it right there. And this is going to go into this particular thing, okay, into the three-way. Now, we want to make sure that the distillation thermometer is about this uh, level down here. Now, now, the reason why is if it's too low, it'll record too high a temperature. If it is too high, it will record a low temperature. If it's right about in the middle where this, uh, this side tube comes out of the main tube, then um, and it splits the thermometer well, in half, that's about right, okay? If you want to adjust it, you can push it down a little bit, or you can remove it, okay, and pull it up, okay? So you can do one of two things, and always make sure, of course, that the, you can read the temperature on the thermometer. Now, the condenser is going to be the part that we have to uh, be concerned with. The condenser should be arranged so that the water comes in at the lower end, but it comes in from the top. And the reason is, if it comes in from the bottom, it will oftentimes leave a vacant space in here that's not being connected uh, okay, with the water that you put in. Now, I like to put a a keck clamp on this wrong way okay there it's on tight okay now sometimes these are rather heavy so I I like to put a little uh, clamp on the end of this and I use the I use the uh, the three prong clamp for this operation and I what I do is I put it on here and I basically just cradle, just cradle it in my, in my three-prong clamp and that's pretty steady. Okay, so notice the water's coming in, the water's going out. Now, this is going to be the, um, the part that you have to be aware of. 
Okay. As we said, this is very expensive, and so you've got to uh, make sure that it's connected to the condenser with a Keck clamp like this, okay? And you'll notice also, uh, as, I, as I just noticed here myself, that uh, while this is set up really uh, accurately, if you you can actually have this angle here too too great and so it's going to separate out which means that if you heat this up it's going to vaporize out this end here so please be aware of that now this is called a pot and let's say this 25 milliliter round bottom flask is going to uh, receive the distillate okay so this is called a receiver and we usually clamp the receiver now you could actually uh, cool this down uh, with an ice bath okay so this could be in an ice bath if you want and if you're concerned that it's going to uh, separate there you could put on another clamp there I don't think it's going to separate so let's put this on the side and you can see that it's the same general configuration that uh, you had for the reflux except now the condenser is turned on its side and it's got this extra bit here but notice it's very it's very compact and uh, the water is flowing uh, gently through it and there's no reason then to uh, to be concerned then about hoses coming off because you've uh, attached them properly and you don't have the water going through here like Niagara Falls so it's not gonna it's not gonna come off then you're going to set it on 120 and whatever temperature the heating mantle needs to get up to to uh, to distill off the solvent. Okay, you start it spinning, and uh, the, you read the temperature off of the thermometer stem, and that's the way you set it up.